Hey everybody, welcome back to another one of our hashtag Star Trek Discovery Discussions videos. Today we are going to be doing a quick production update in regards to Star Trek Discovery Season 3, and I'm going to share why I think that this show may already be in production. Let's jump into it. So one of the big things floating around the internet that just broke yesterday is three Instagram posts that were posted up by Mary Wiseman, the actress who plays Tilly, and Sadiqa Martin-Green, the actress who plays Michael Burnham, all on Star Trek Discovery, where they were posting up photos of themselves and one of the executive producers of Star Trek Discovery Season 3, inside of Iceland, inside of Reykjavik, which some of you may know Reykjavik as one of the locations that they used for, I think, Game of Thrones and a few other shows. So it's kind of a popular area to film shows in. Now, this on the surface may just look like they were all on vacation together and it may not be that big of a deal. However, if you go back in the Wayback Machine of the February 2019 style, you'll note that Tamara DeVrell, who is one of the production designers on Discovery, said that they were looking at many other external locations to start filming in the future for Star Trek Discovery, including Iceland. So it's not only then kind of confirmed that they were looking at Iceland, but now we have two of our main cast members and an executive producer there right before the rumored kind of soft confirmed start date of filming of Discovery, which is the first week, the second week of July. So I think that this show is very much likely in production inside of Iceland right now with the possibility of ramping up inside of Canada at any moment. But let's talk about Canada now. It's been well established over the last few years that the working title of Star Trek Discovery is Green Harvest. That's one of the main working titles that they use for trades and publication articles and stuff like that. So if you go to these different trade websites and try to search for Star Trek Discovery, you're not going to find anything, but you will find Green Harvest Attack Season 3. And in this case, if you don't really believe that it's Green Harvest, you can just look at a lot of the production details, which lists Sadiqa Martin Green and a lot of the main cast members, a lot of the executive producers and all the all the, you know, supporting folks of Discovery as attached to that project. So that is what that is. So Green Harvest is Star Trek Discovery. So with that in mind, let's take a look at some of these trade articles and see if we can't figure out if the show is filming or where it is exactly in terms of getting ready to start filming. So let's jump into that. The first one we're looking at right now is the actual City of Toronto's main page. And in here, it lists out a bunch of projects that are being filmed currently in Toronto. And it lists out, you know, Green Harvest 03 as having started filming on June 2nd. Yay! The show's been filming! Well, it's, no, I don't know. I don't think so. I actually think that might be a bit of a typo or they may be a little overzealous with what they consider to be films rolling camera starts. But it is showing that Green Harvest is scheduled to be there from June to the end of this year. Now, that's a pretty decent set date, but it's a little bit earlier than any of the other time frames that I've looked at outside of these trade articles. So now let's look at the IATSE section, which lists out Green Harvest as starting production in July 18th and ending on February 7th, 2020. Now, the IATSE stuff is for stage actors and also stage and set builders. That's a kind of job advertisement for folks in the in the area there of Toronto to kind of attach themselves to that product or to go apply for jobs. So these are essentially job postings and trade articles that we're looking at here. So this one is showing that July 18th is the start time, but that could mean anything. That could just mean when the IATSE has the availability to send people over there or whatever that means. It may not necessarily mean an exact start time. So right now we're looking at between the 2nd of June to the 18th of July as we slide over into one of the other websites, which is the Ontario Create site, which is just a general kind of film overview for all of Ontario area, which simply just lists at Green Harvest as July 19th all the way through February 2020. So that still seems to be in the July, February timeframe. And now let's jump into this next site, which is the Actors Guild kind of website. Again, this is type of a job listing here that has Green Harvest listed as starting in July 3rd and ending on February 14th, 2020. So again, now we're kind of in the earlier part of July, not so much later into the end. Again, I don't think that June early start date was super accurate, uh, especially in terms of cameras rolling, but perhaps pre-production. And I say pre-production because that jumps us into the Directors Guild of Canada, Ontario Division, which lists Green Harvest out as starting pre-production as early as April 9th and ending on July 7th, 2019, with full production starting on July 8th and ending on February 21st, 2020. And just keep in mind that this Director's Guild hot list was updated recently on July 2nd. So this is about as current as we could possibly get. So with all of these dates in mind, going as early as April all the way to July 18th timeframe for the actual start, I think it's safe to say that this show is 
definitely within pre-production. Sets are being built. They're probably rolling in extras. They're probably well into the beginning of production, and they are gearing up. Within the next week or so, they should be fully rolling with cameras and actors in place. Now, I am aware that through social media, it does seem as though Wilson Cruz is in New York, and Anthony Rapp, I think, is in Russia, and I think Doug Jones is somewhere in Texas, I think, maybe Arizona. I can't remember exactly. But uh, it does seem as though this show is getting ready to really kick off its production inside of Canada. And I think when we look at that getting so close to start up, it makes sense that if they were going to be doing a location shoot with just a limited number of the actors, that's probably why Sinequa Martin-Green and Mary Wiseman are in Iceland, probably filming some on-location set scenes that don't involve the other actors that may just involve them for some type of the story for one of the different episodes. Now, right now, Iceland's going through this weird thing where it's daylight quite a bit. That's the whole kind of shtick that's happening there right now. So I'm wondering if they're utilizing that for the production in order to maximize their filming time so they don't have to worry about a day-night cycle. I don't know. That's just speculation on my part, but that's what I think is happening. I think that they're getting that taken care of in preparation for the fact that everyone's going to be in Canada for the next few months filming the full regalion of Star Trek Discovery Season 3. So, a lot of you may be wondering, why the heck am I bothered even to speculate on this? Why don't we just wait for the official announcement to come out? Well, I'm trying to get ahead of the rumors that I feel like most likely will be coming out that a lot of people were strumming up about Picard because they did not do a hard announcement even several weeks it took them after we knew for sure that Patrick Stewart was on set filming in public, outside, it took them several weeks after that for CBS to officially say, yes, we are filming, here's the teaser trailer, here's what we've got, you know, for that show. So I'm just trying to get a little bit ahead of the rumor mill saying that Discovery is going to be delayed, or that they don't have the funding, or that it's only going to be short treks, and Netflix is pulling out, and all this other nonsense. To me, we are very, very clearly either in full production or just about to pop that open and start rolling. And I do think that cameras are rolling, at least probably on location in Iceland and possibly even in some regards in Canada with different location shots and stuff like that, just based off of the fact that the city of Toronto seems to think that they started, you know, cameras rolling on the 2nd of June and the Directors Guild thinks that pre-production started all the way back on April 9th. Anyways, guys and gals, that wraps up today's video. I did want to go ahead and just provide that general update to you. We don't really have much else going on in ways of the Star Trek Discovery Season 3 kind of rumor mill. They haven't really released any kind of information, and we don't know of any brand new casting announcements that have been released yet. They've really, really remained tight-lipped about what's happening with Star Trek Discovery Season 3 up to this point. But I think as we get into the next few weeks and we start seeing actors on physical sets or on location shoots or whatever it is that we're actually going to start to be able to piece some different ideas together and start possibly speculating speculating about what the new show is going to be about. So I'm very excited for all that. I hope to hear what you guys and gals think about this. Do you think the show is in production? Do you think I'm reading a little bit too much into this? Or are you worried that the show is going to be delayed? What do you think about all of this? Do you think what, what's going on? I'm curious to hear what all of you guys and gals think and throw up those ideas down below. Let's get this conversation started and I'll catch all of y'all next time. Live long and prosper, my trickies. <laughs>